So I'm here at Long Holes Rehabilitation Center with uh, Lou, the manager. Lovely to meet you. you. She's gonna take me around and show me the world-class facilities they've got here and a little bit about what they do. So, shall we head off? Absolutely. Yeah. So Adam, this is a high-speed treadmill. We use this a lot in our rehabilitation program. We would predominantly use it because we want a horse to work in a straight line. Yeah. We want to form some level of concussion, okay. but without the weight of a rider on their yeah. back. We use this for horses of all ages yeah. that come on with any injury. Okay, so they, and how often would they uh, get themselves on the treadmill? Most of them would start off on once a day. Okay. Some of them start as little as 10 minutes walking. Oh, really? And so... then some of them will go up to 40 minutes twice a day. Yeah. Some horses are on there for 40 minutes walking. Some horses walk for five minutes trot trotting. Yeah. It kind of depends where we are in the rehabilitation yeah, program. Of well, it's very similar to athletics, I think. The, the sort of bigger events that you do, the, uh, the longer distances you're running, the more time you'd spend on the treadmill. Someone like me, I might get on there just for warm up or, or just to, yeah just to less impact than actually running on the track or something like that which i'm assuming is the same very similar yeah for the yeah, horses which is similar. which is which is cool wicked it's quite good that there's a little bit of suspension in there as well which yeah. i'm sure is the same for you how fast can can these guys get, that get goes moving up to 42 kilometers an hour but so they're moving <laughs> yeah it is wow. and you've got a big lump of flesh yeah. going at high speed yeah. You are very much under their, you know, wings. So it, they're, they're brilliant bits of kit, but very scary at the yeah, same time. Yeah, I can imagine. They, you have to respect the machine and yeah. the horse that's on it. Yeah. So this is the vibrating plate known as a Vita floor. They are used in Australia a lot. Kind of come to England in the last couple of years. The reason we'd use these is to improve bone density. So from a rehabilitation point of view, if we have a horse, quite a few of our injuries require a month's box rest, yeah. which is the worst thing you can do, really, because the bone starts to go soft having stood still for a month. Yeah. So the idea is, is if we have a horse on box rest, you can easily get it into here, a very short walk from that yard to here and it's still getting the bone to have a bit of blood flow, blood supply, and improve the bone density and not let it go soft, so that when we're bringing a horse back from injury, we're not then gonna cope with other issues because the rest of the body's gone soft. And do, they, do they mind being in here? Because I can them feel it, love it. it doesn't even look like he's a... No, most <laughs> of them love it, and I think with the solar lighting, it just warms the muscle up, yeah, gives them a feel-good nice. factor. It's, it's a brilliant bit of kit, actually, and it we're lucky cool. that it's now come to the equine world. The other vital part to the organisation are the hydro spas. Now this looks very familiar for me. Yeah, very, sure. yeah, this looks very familiar. So they will come in here. They, these machines, you can raise the levels. So we do fetlocks to knees, where you're covering tendons, dispensaries. It cools the soft tissue down. It cools bone down. Yeah. It's the same part. It's exactly the same concept as what you would go through. And do they? Because when I have an ice bath, well, I do it for about seven to ten minutes, and it is complete agony. How got, how long do these horses uh, have to the go? The whole for? process, they're in here for about fifteen minutes. Oh, and do they do they complain or do they like no, it? No, most really? of them are pretty good. <laughs> I had one filly who refused to go in the right way, just happy to go in the other way. Sure. Refused to go in the right way. Most of them are pretty good, but to be perfectly honest, if they're not enjoying it, then they you know, let you know pretty quickly. Yeah, I can so imagine. With the high-speed treadmill, I've had one horse out of probably 100 that said, doesn't no want, way, I'm not doing this. Same with this bit of kit. It's all for us introducing them. They start off with a little bit just above their fetlock, get them used to it, and then just raise it up. And every day they do it? Or? Yeah, every day. Every day they do it. So they, are they only cold, or do they, can they go hot as they're well? They're only cold. They're only cold, they're okay. Only cold. Yeah. Because so we might use in athletics, we might contrast maybe like do a hot cold therapy. Hot, cold, yeah, of course, yeah. but maybe no. it hasn't made it across to the horses yet, but it's crazy to see a horse having a nice bar. So, horse treadmill, very similar concept to a normal treadmill. They would work 12 times harder in water than you would without at a walking pace. Okay. Um, if you, there's two levels of incline. On the highest incline is 10 degree, but it actually works out about 30% of an incline. 
The water treadmill is a brilliant bit of kit in the fact that from a rehabilitation point of view, there are no negatives, yeah. there are only positives. From a mental aspect, the horses love it. Yeah. So we have quite a few horses that will work really hard on the high speed treadmill in the morning and then they come and they do hard work on this but because they enjoy sloshing around in the water it doesn't even feel they're like not, they're working. They're not. No, they don't. So the reason for the water is to make resistance, it's not for like to keep if they like got an injury, it, it's a bit lighter to, on them to actually... Yeah, the, uh, basically the water, as opposed to the high speed, there is a level <laughs> of... There is a level of concussion, whereas the water treadmill, you are removing all concussion. Yeah. Um, the weight of the water obviously lifts the horses up. So you're basically doing endurance work, you're doing muscularly hard work, you're asking the muscles to perform properly. So if you watch the whole horse's frame, the way he's having to swing, he's making all of his axles work properly. Yeah. And although the belt is running underneath, which in a normal treadmill, it gives you a slightly helping hand, the water prevents that. And how fast can they, these guys get going? Because obviously the water is quite, like, it, yeah, it's tough. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't get, let these guys sprint or anything like no. that? So no, so they're designed, you could trot on it, but realistically, you have no benefit trotting in water. No. Where the benefit with this machine comes in is the levels of water. Okay. So you can just, you can actually just see, but you can see how he lifts the hind gate. Yeah. And then you can see from the top of the pelvis, so basically with the water at that level, you're asking the horse to really perform yeah. properly. There's no being lazy when it's, the water's at that so level. It's quite like technical. It's, it's teaching yes. the horse good technique. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. When they're in training, it, whether it's racing, eventing, dressage, show jumping, whatever we do to a horse, it's not that natural for a person to be on their back. So a rider, good or bad, we are out of shape in the fact that we're unbalanced. So we ride out of balance, we then put them out of balance. Okay. This is ensuring stroke demanding that they work properly. So to start with, they might be on there for 10 minutes. And as they go up, I'll raise the water levels. Keep it. If somebody tells me their horse is very fit and they want to maintain that level of fitness, then we work them pretty hard on it. They yeah. are magical bits of kit. Well, we, I would say we, in athletics, probably more use this for, I think, more for injury. If you if you want to run and, and you don't want to put all your weight on your on your legs or something, you, yeah. you might do it on this. But again, then you start getting up to speed, then it will be, uh, that's when you start really feeling it. And, Pushing yourself. Yeah, pushing yeah. yourself, which would be really tough. So, wow, that's impressive. Very impressive, that. So I've had a really awesome day here learning about horses' rehabilitation and, and seeing them, how they train and the facilities that they use and didn't actually realise how similar to athletics it is. And these guys are elite athletes just the same as me. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing them throughout the Kipco British Champion Series and, and yeah, hoping they all do really, really well.